Welcome back to Me Cat Musings, and the obvious title of the video here is Daniel Ricciardo and his future in Formula One. Now, in the Bahrain Grand Prix, um, just over two weeks ago now, or coming up to two weeks ago, he had a nightmare. And he was, perhaps in his mind, questioning the wisdom of staying on at Red Bull. His uh, contract with the team is over at the end of this season. And after yet another retirement through no fault of his own, you'd be perhaps thinking, you know what, I have had enough of this. You're a competitive guy and you want to be pushing forward with your career and something else keeps sabotaging you. And I think we'd all feel pretty annoyed in those circumstances, regardless of what our chosen field might be, if that kept happening to us. Now, on this occasion, one week on from the Bahrain Grand Prix in China, Daniel Ricciardo had a very different experience. But both experiences might conspire between them to decide his future. The disappointment in Bahrain was a reminder that the team he's with now, Red Bull, have got their problems. They've got their problems with their reliability and they've got their problems with engine power. But by winning in China, what Ricardo showed was his tremendous racecraft, his bravery, his fearlessness, his desire to have a go, all of which would be attractive prospects for a couple of teams, in particular teams that will have vacancies next year, or could have vacancies next year, namely Mercedes and Ferrari. Now, in both cases, there are drivers there at the moment in the shape of Lewis Hamilton and Daniel um, Daniel Ricciardo. He's not there yet, is he? I'm assuming he's going there, see? Um, forget what I just said. So, yeah, at... Mercedes right now, you've got uh, Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. Hamilton is very much the top dog there. He has won three of his four world championships with Mercedes. He's the running world champion. Um, is he going to want someone like Daniel Ricciardo come along and possibly knock him off his perch? Now, I think Hamilton would be perhaps more inclined to have a competitive teammate... But even so, it's not something he'd necessarily want. If Mercedes turned around to him and said, well, we're going to sign Ricardo at the end of the season to replace Bottas, then he'd be more accepting of it without necessarily being happy about it than Sebastian Vettel would be at Ferrari. If Ricardo were to replace Kimi Raikkonen, then what Vettel will find himself facing is a teammate who already proved he can beat Vettel in a straight fight. The two of them were teammates in 2014 at Red Bull, and Ricardo beat Vettel hands down. There's no other way of saying it. There's no mitigating factors for Vettel. He simply lost to the faster driver that season. Therefore, Vettel might be less inclined than Hamilton to accept Ricardo as a teammate. It may not be entirely Vettel's choice, but there is a rumour that he does have some say over that. So that being the case, would he veto any move for Ricardo, Or would he think to himself, if you're going to sign Daniel Ricardo, I'm going to go somewhere else? There is a third element to all this, um, and that's Red Bull Racing themselves. If they can demonstrate that they can be competitive, and they looked very competitive in the right conditions in China, after all, Ricardo won the race. Well, might Ricardo be tempted to say that? A lot hinges on how Red Bull can develop their car, on how Renault can develop their engine, and how the season pans out. If it genuinely looks like Red Bull could be a factor in this title race, if Ricardo can get in amongst the contenders this season, then he might decide that Red Bull is the best place to stay. Nonetheless, if you know, the best performing team over the past few years in the shape of Mercedes came knocking, 
with their recent history, they'd be hard to ignore. And Ferrari's improvements over the past season and, well, now a season and a bit, have been tremendous. Once again, they'd be hard to ignore. It comes down to what does Ricardo want to do? It comes down to what Hamilton and Vettel are going to say. And it comes down to whether or not, of course, Mercedes decide they're going to keep Bottas again and whether Ferrari might decide to keep Raikkonen. Both teams might fancy Ricardo from the point of view that he can actually score a lot of good points. He's very fast, he's very aggressive. But it's very difficult to say for sure. It's one of those things where this early in the season, three races in, and these rumours flying around, it's a bit early for the silly season. But nonetheless, teams will be keeping one eye on the future because it, you know, they're all going to want Ricardo's signature at some point, surely, I would imagine, given how good he is. And it's going to be a question now of who can make the best case as a team for Ricardo and how can Ricardo make the best case for himself joining Mercedes or Ferrari. So there's lots of permutations here, lots of uncertainty, but the key thing from Ricardo's point of view will be to keep his head down, to keep racing hard but fair, to perhaps win a few more races and demonstrate his worth, and then he's going to give Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari some very serious food for thought.